welcome to another sky vision of um wow i just died this is basically golden eye for um golden eye source basically it is um a pc no, i'd say console port there was it's more of a not a port but a remake rather it's basically a remake of the n64 golden eye for pc and uh, it's a pretty awesome game and it's it's fun i like it oh yeah so this is gun game which is, um, as you'll know. But there are more modes. There's Deathmatch, you got Team Deathmatch, you got um, the Golden Man, the Golden Gun, you know, that sort of stuff. Just like the same with um, Exit Ball Gun. Obviously, you just see you don't have a crosshair, but, well, now yeah, you do. And have a freaking. Goddamn. I'm, I'm really bad at this game. Like, yeah. Just ignore my gameplay. I always. This is just for good old fun, really. Yeah, yeah, I finally got a better gun. Um, as you see, it's got golden nice sort of style music. It's a pretty awesome um, mod. It actually got an update, like, about a few weeks back. I think about a week or two ago. I am basically I played for, like, many years. Um, but then I kind of stopped. I stayed for about a year or so. But then uh, I start a few weeks ago, so I decided, well, you know, I'll stop playing this again. So I did. And the update then came, and I found that there was going to be an update, and 4.2, and it is awesome. They've improved a lot. Graphics are nice, uh, love the, well, environments. I would never actually play the original S64 GoldenEye, but it is one of the games I really, really want to play. This game is good for both people who've played GoldenEye and for new gamers like me, for newer ones. Because it's really, it's really fun, I know I like it a lot. Even if you haven't played S64 GoldenEye, um, it has that feel whilst you have jumping, which is a new thing. And yeah, the match is ending. But this is just for casual fun, just play with you, with your friends or whatnot. And of course the server's are gonna change level as the usual. You got these nice loan screens. Um But yeah. Use standard control, so obviously you don't have a crosshair, but you hold the shift key, which allows you to aim with a crosshair. However, you obviously move uh, slower, because why not? Now, it's because it's to make it akin. That's what kind of makes it different, in my opinion, to a lot of the other Source Mod shooters. Other than the crazy weapons, mats, and other things like that. So, you got your standard, obviously they got knives, which is an annoying mode, but you know. It's not too bad. But yeah, I'd highly recommend you get this mod. Just go on the website, which I would put in the description. Uh, and just download it now. Like, really, really, um, this game is a bit under... I'd say unpopulated, I guess. Not many people play it. More people should. But I, ha I have a strange skill for knife throwing. Wow. Yeah, I, I think you guys should definitely get it. Because I know you'll, you'll probably like it. If you like more... Like more than FPS, so even if you are a Golden Knight 64 fan, if you're a Wii Golden Knight fan, I'd still get this because it's fun. If you don't like, if you like when those guys that are so hard, go like, no jumping is a lot older and stuff. Like, well, I guess it's your choice. You don't have to play this. Just play the original Knight 64 Golden Knight. But if you wanna, if you wanna relive Golden Knight or whatever and play it online with more people, then that's fun as well. This is just for casual gaming, and there are bots in this version, by the way. There weren't bots until 4.2, and, uh, well, he's there. Him. But, um, now there are bots, which is, uh, awesome. Oh yeah, and as you can see, health and stuff. Well, yeah, it's like Golden Eye health, you know? Or Time Splitters, if you played that, you'll like this game, because... I really think developers did a really good job overall with this mod, and I highly recommend you get it. Uh, I think that's really all I have to say. So yeah, just just go and get this game like now. It's all you need is a Source Engine game. It makes you download SDK Base 2007. Once you get SDK Base 2007, you're all sorted. And just download this mod. It's really easy to install. There's an install it'll do automatically for you. Of course, it's not. One of those mods where you have to extract the files or whatnot, you just download the EXE and stuff. And if you, haven't, if you haven't played it in a while but still have the original files, then I still re I'd recommend you um, give it a go again. Because um, it's, it's quite fun, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Well, that, that failed. Um, 
But yeah, again, just get this mod and I am going to leave you guys now. So yeah, goodbye. <laughs>